Hi there, it's William from Mech Solutions, and today we're going to be looking at the Flash Forge Inventor 2, now available at Mech eStore, and go through uh, everything it can do. So once you slice it open, like that. First things first, we have our warranty and all the gears and gadgets that can help uh, build. So we'll go through that in a second. And as you can see, it goes out like that. Has a bunch of static tape on it. Before I forget, it also does come with the rule of white PLA filament. So now that we have the Inventor 2 all unboxed, uh, there's a couple of things. You'll notice that the door opens like that. For now, I'm just going to keep that uh, film on right now. And there's a couple other things you have to do just before you set it up. And what I'll do is I'll open this box here and show you what's inside because it's actually quite useful. So we actually have some extra tubage, USB port. Have the cable, power cable, some extra pieces, a screwdriver, USB key, uh, some Allen wrenches, power supply, quite small, extra fan, and of course some glue. So, and also in here, we're going to notice that that's just the warranty and the instructions for getting everything set up. So if you are having any troubles, please just read these instructions. They go through quite clearly on how to get everything up and running. So as you can see, everything looks set up, but if you notice, there's actually about four um, zip ties on the um, moving elements. That's good just to make sure nothing gets shifted over in the shipping. You will have to cut these before you start the printer or else you'll jam it and it simply just won't run because it's being stopped by zip ties. So with all these gone, you just can toss it to the side for now. You have to get the hood out. As you can see in there, that's the hood. Uh, it does not easily come out of there. So if I'm not correct, we have to flip it. remove it like that. This is just what you use to cover everything up. Now the second thing you're going to want to do is see where the filament is going to be held. So if I turn it around, you can see that is exactly where the filament is supposed to go, right in there. Everything is all internal. That's going to help quite a bit because it's going to make everything nice and quiet. It'll tend to be a very solid, steady machine. Uh, I should note that the Inventor 2 is pretty much all plastic. Um, everything not a lot of metal in it and all you have to do is just plug in the uh, cable right at the end so we just flip that switch at the back and press on and uh, we'll have a decimal counter but uh, it's quite quiet because again it is all interconnected i'm just going to take some of the extra stuff out you can take so pretty much what you're going to want to do is, because this part can be quite tough to get out, is click on tools, go to manual, that allows you to rise and lower like that. And then what we're going to do is now that we have everything all set up, the machine can move safely we're going to use its specialized auto level feature. So as you can see, once you do start the auto level feature, it's gonna go all the way up and it's gonna ask you to screw the three bottom wheels all the way to the right. It says distance is too big, that's what normally is supposed to happen. And then what you wanna do is start to screw it to the left. And that is the exact sound you want to hear, so you click verify. So once you have everything nice and done, it'll say congratulations. Tap to move to the next point. And then you're pretty much going to have to do this three times. Uh, once you get congratulations all three times, uh, your bed is totally level and ready to print. 
Now I should note something about the bed itself. Um, it is not heated. Um, so it's the nozzle head that's heated and it's enclosed, uh, but it, the bed itself is not uh, a heated bed. The Flash Forge in Venture 2, all set up, ready to go. And all we have to do is put some filament in. So now that everything else has been set up, all you have to do is put the filament in. So you take this part out of the back. So now that everything else has been set up, all you have to do is put the filament in. So you take this part out of the back and you grab this PLA filament. Now I should note that most 1kg rolls will not fit into this um, filament holder. This is the 0.6kg roll and it will be available at mechestore.com. So if you do uh, have a larger roll, you're going to have to be careful because you're going to need that smaller diameter. So effectively what you're going to want to do is to get the filament in properly is just feed it through first so that you actually have some filament clearly running through and grab the filament spool. Make sure everything's wrapped up so we don't lose any and get tangled. And you can hear that locking, that's great. Now that we have, what we want to do is get our filament loaded in safely. So it does go in that hole right here, but first we do want to go, here I'll go all the way back for you. Go to tools, go to filament, and then click and load. So first we stick it in. So as the filament begins to load, the nozzle head's gonna heat up. So now that we can see that the heating's done, it's gonna start to extrude some filament if we push it through, as you can see at the bottom there. Now what we wanna do is actually just press done now because we can see it safely going through. And uh, if you don't do that, it's just gonna keep on extruding. In. Now it should be noted that when you start to push filament through on your first time, you're gonna see probably a different color other than white filament coming out. Uh, that's because they do test these in a factory uh, just to make sure that they're running. So in this case, it's a red filament. Uh, for yours, it might be the exact same. It could be a different color though. That's just to make sure that the machine's running and that the hot end is working. So filament set up, printer set up. Next thing we need to do is do a test print. So we just grab the USB that's provided by them. Then what we're going to want to do is go to build. USB stick. Inventor 2, then go down to test files, and then we're going to click this test file right here. Build. And as you can see, what's happening right now is that it's heating up the extruder, the hot end. So you can see the progress bar right here it gives you the ability to abort, pause, or do more. Uh, and effectively it's going to start running and because everything's been pre-leveled, the filament safely in, it will start to print uh, pretty much with no trouble.